Annie Petsock, you've been involved in this deal for years, this aviation deal. Can Donald Trump dump this aviation deal? The important thing about the aviation agreement that was reached in Montreal a couple of weeks ago is that it's got broad support from across the industry and it's got strong support from civil society organizations. Now, not every environmental group thinks it's perfect. It's not perfect by any means. But it, as a first step, it's quite an important one. And it relies on uh, giving airlines the flexibility to determine how they're going to reduce emissions. They can do it by flying cleaner aircraft. They can do it by working with governments to get air traffic control to be better so that planes can fly uh, takeoffs and landings more efficiently and they don't have to spend so much time circling. They can use alternative fuels if those fuels actually reduce emissions. And they can offset their emissions by investing in emission reduction opportunities within the aviation sector, like at San Francisco Airport, or outside the aviation sector. With that flexibility in mind, we're hopeful that the new administration coming in will embrace this agreement and not reject it.